Hi everybody, today I've got a quick tip which will help you with developing hand synchronization. One thing which holds people back without them realizing is getting the timing slightly wrong. Um, I've noticed this more with triplets than anything else, so I'm going to use triplets to demonstrate this fact. So let's say that you've got a metronome click of uh, one, two, three, four, constantly going, and uh, you want to play triplets over that. So over that one, two, three, four, you'd go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's what you're aiming for. What often happens is something which sounds like this. Now, as you can tell, that wasn't really triplets. So what's happening there is basically the fretting hand is not in control of when it's moving to the next fret. A lot of that is to do with a lack of finger strength. It's a bit like having, uh, it's like trying to rush through an exercise. Let's say you're not very strong in trying to do a load of press ups or some sort of exercise. Um, what you tend to do is try to rush through it, don't you? Because you can't really control the movements. It's a bit like that with uh, your fretting hand because the, the muscles aren't really quite developed yet. They tend to sort of rush through because they can't hold themselves in a certain position. Um, so what you really got to do is recognize what's going on, take stock and just say, okay, force myself to slow it down, hold on a little bit on each fret before I move to the next one. And then eventually what you want to do is get it sounding more like this. So you could hear that there was definitely triplets going on there. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And all you gotta do is just recognize what's going on and just Force your fingers not to move when they're not supposed to. Actually make them hang on a little bit longer before pulling off, pulling off to the next one. And as you can see, I was first off, I was just using pull-offs there for a bit of legato feel. Then I was just doing a bit of picking. So now uh, because whether you're working on picking or whether you're trying just to get the fretting hand uh, better at timing, uh, this applies to both. So let's say that um, your fretting hand was doing what I demonstrated in the first example, which was this dodgy kind of like uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that kind of out of control thing. But maybe your picking hand can actually play pretty well on triplets. So that's going like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But if you've got a fretting hand, which is doing the first thing, then it's no wonder they're not going to sync up no matter how much practice you do and how much stamina you try and build. If you do need more help with hand synchronization, I have got a course on my website you can download. Um, and that will give you some tips and exercises on how to develop it and it's actually a lot easier than you think uh, developing hand synchronization there's not a lot to it it's more about the approach than the individual exercises okay so you will discover that and of course it's nearly christmas so i'm going to wish you guys an amazing christmas and new year and as always i will see you next time